Paul, what's your first defeat this season and talk us through the game? Uh, where do you start? Uh, we haven't come out in the first half at all. We were frustrated, I think, in the first five or ten minutes where uh, we felt that maybe we didn't have the same energy. Uh, does that come off the back of having a couple of good results? Uh, we, we had a fear of that and at half time we spoke uh, of the fact that maybe we uh, we thought we'd just step up here and three points would, would just land on our plates. Um, so yeah, there was a wee bit of disappointment in that. I, I don't think we came out at all. We got a wee bit shell-shocked. Um, we, we've given away three goals. We could argue that there were things that were wrong and things that should have been fixed and whatever, but from our perspective, uh, we were just poor in the first half. Um, we didn't show up at all and we have to take responsibility for it and, and we have to dust ourselves down and move on. I think a loss today is, is a big learning curve for the team. You know, having gone up two wins already, scoring eight goals, I think this is an important loss. Yeah, as I've said to the players afterwards, certainly don't ever want to come away 5-1. Uh, that's, that's heartbreaking. Um, but at the same time, a defeat at this point is probably one of the best things could happen to us. Sounds crazy, I know, but it, it pulls us back down out of the clouds. The players, I think, you know, we were starting to get to a place where we were going, oh, we're just going to win, we're just going to win, we're just going to win. And after only three games, You've got you've got to get your, your feet in the ground, and we've talked about that at length. So, so yeah, it was it was good, I suppose, from one perspective to take that learning curve and to say you, you don't just chew up; it doesn't just get handed to you. You've got to work hard for it. We've spoken about the what ifs, and um, today one of the what ifs came into place. Elliot got a red card, and um, how did you react when that happened? Well, Elliot's taken the learning from it. Uh, he knows that if he had to come around earlier rather than reacting to the ball, he wouldn't have had to do what he did, and he has obviously held his hands up and recognised that. Uh, but it's funny, yeah, after talking about it, we talked about it again on Thursday night. Uh, what if this happens? What if that happens? And actually, before the, the game started, I talked about what if we go to 10 men? Let's play our game. Let's continue to play our game plan. Uh, I think at sixes and sevens, uh, we ended up, you know, they, they scored again very quickly. We're 2 0 down, and all of a sudden we're 3 0 down. Uh, and your game plan goes out the window, I think, and it becomes panic. So I'll be honest, getting in at half time was really important. Uh, getting in and being able to talk uh, and being able to recognise what we needed to do. And, and I think. To give the players their credit, they responded. They came out in the, in the second half and, and we were winning the second half right up until that delightful strike from 25 or 30 yards into the bottom corner. Uh, I think we managed it. We let them have the ball at the back and we tried to steal it when we could. And uh, I think our second half was a much better performance. As you said, going in 4-0 down at half time, it's not where you want to be, but coming out, having such an impressive second half and getting a goal, especially you signing Chris Ramsey, um, he must be happy with the goal, but disappointed about the result. He's got it. He's got it. I mean, I think he stepped on and got into the box there simply out of frustration. Uh, he's he's coming away looking like he's going to get beat 4-0 and that's not the player he is. He doesn't want to get beat 4-0. And I think you could see the attitude of a lot of the players. They did not want to get beaten 4-0 either. Uh, and I think that's the pleasing thing that you can see that there's a little bit of fight, a little bit of heart. Uh, if we just hadn't have been so bad in the first half, maybe we could have got back into it. But with 10 men, it's really, really tough to come back out from 4-0 down and, and to get something. So for me, it was about performance in the second half. We're back to Dixon Park on Saturday and um, posting the lock goal. And have you thought about this game yet? Oh yeah, absolutely. Lock all are what we would consider one of the title contenders. Uh, so again, a, another massive, massive game for us and we, we've been preparing for it. Today isn't great preparation, obviously with Elliot sent off uh, and picking up a couple of wee niggles there as well. It gives us a wee bit of a concern, but uh, yeah, we, we listen, we'll go. We have, we have a friendly on Tuesday night that we'll play to give some of the squad players uh, a little bit of game time uh, and we'll work really, really hard on what we're going to do against Lock all. You have a friendly on Tuesday night coming up against Cardiff as they prepare for their Premiership season. Um, What's the team news going into that game? Uh, it's very much about those players that haven't got 90 minutes so far. Um, we, we've spoken with Stuart at length and, and he knows that and he's trying to get his uh, players as many minutes as he can. So he's coming in off the back of, I think they're, they're playing a friendly on Monday night against Ards. They'll play us on Tuesday night. That'll be the, the players that haven't got 90 minutes. That's not an important game for us as such, other than getting players game time. Finally, um, any more arrivals to come for the end of the season? Or the, uh, sorry, the end of the transfer window? The window's still open, so we'll still keep talking uh, and we'll still keep looking uh, and see what's out there. Uh, at the moment, I'm happy with the squad that we have, but if players become available that would strengthen us and make us better, then we won't argue with that. So, Paul, thank you very much. No problem, thank you.